Long time no see, Danny. You again? What do you want from Draw me? Draw Strongman, of course. No, I'm done with Strongman. He's dead. Go away. Well, you might be right that he's dead, but I still need you to help me out with something. No, Strongman is dead. He's not coming back. Th then what if I told you this? What? He left a legacy. Strongman has a son, and his name is Swole Boy. I see. He's got a son, huh? So, the Strongman legacy continues. Alright, voice in my head. Well, if it's for a Strongman, then I'll help you out. One more time. Transferring a rough draft onto a big piece of paper and then onto a big piece of canvas, that's gonna take a lot of work. But anything for Strongman and anything for his heroic works. So what I'm what I'll have to do is divide my rough draft into little blocks and then divide the big paper into the same number of blocks and then just try to copy each individual little block you know try to do it picture perfect but you know it's gonna mess up obviously and then onto from the big paper I have to do the exact same thing from the big paper to the big canvas so that took me about three days already eh, not three days it took me about two days already so yeah you know, have fun watching that See the paint had to go through from, from this this thing right here, from this little rough draft that looks absolutely amazing by the way, onto 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 this this sheet of paper that is absolutely huge. And then and then again had to draw the entire thing again onto this. And now we're finally start to paint. So the one um, I'm not an experienced painter obviously, but the random guy who talks to me wanted me to make a painting, so I guess I had to make a painting. Uh, the one thing I learned about painting in this process is you always want to start with the background and then work your way up to the foreground because if you go over your foreground object a little bit with the background that's okay, your acrylic will just go right over it but if you draw your foreground stuff first then the background you might accidentally you know, go over your foreground stuff again then you have to repaint it which is no fun especially when you're painting strongman. Background's finished. We can go on to painting this magnificent, absolutely beautiful face, which was a, quite a challenge to do. Actually, we only have one flesh tone, and it looks really chunky. So it looks very chunky now. But my art teacher gave me some some advice. It's a, a little bit uh, thinner by mixing in a bit of water, so it's pretty okay. Of course, get out. Draw that nice clear blue eyebrow. Looks surprisingly good. Now for his face shadows, this was the hardest part because I had no pencil lines to go with because I went over it all with paint, but the end result was very, very, very manly. Love his prominent shadows. Could have gone for a few more layers, but I'm sure he wouldn't mind because it looks awesome already. Don't forget his fist shadows too. Cause I, I like that. I like how that looks. Especially his eye shadows. Uh, not the makeup kind of art shadow, but you know what I mean. Look at those. Day three, how are you, Curtis? Well, what happened was I took these panels out of the truck and, and slid against each other a little bit. No. Now here comes the most important part of this painting. It is his muscles. Strong man's muscles cannot, cannot look any, you know, cannot look underwhelming. But it cannot look overwhelming either because it cannot be overwhelming. That's just the way he is. So, gotta add a lot of depth and 3D effects to this muscle, and especially some heavy black shading near the edges of his six pack, his pecs, and especially his massive biceps. So, you see, I'm mixing him in with black and dark blue to create that little nice transition from black to that light blue, just to show how strong he is. 
enjoy his muscles. Oh, jeez, that's really weird. But, yeah, you wish you had those muscles, eh? The recording got invaded by some monkey. And there's another monkey. But look at strong man. Yeah, but this monkey looks better. Look at him. Just look at him. You are jealous of his abs. Jealous? Me? <laughs> what am I doing with my channel? <laughs> Alright, I had enough, Connor. What do you have to say about this painting? Um, I'll do that later, but what do you have to say about this painting? Pretty good. Um, am I allowed to mention this? You're banned for five days in this chat. You're also banned. <laughs> You're also banned. you already been banned. Screw both of you. Now, next day, I am working on Straw Man's arm. His arm uh, and his costume are, are red. A very nice fashion choice. A little bit like a superhero or kind of gnome, this color scene, but Straw Man's OG, so it's no trash company Straw Man. And I'm sorry that my body is blocking most of what I'm drawing to. You really can't see much more on you, but it's just a forearm and some just a redness on his costume. Not much to look at, but nothing to stop at. He's Okay, end of day three. We're gonna do some art. We're gonna do an art room tour. So over here we have Curtis. Hey, fun tip: soak your brushes in boiling water to remove paint thinner and other chemicals. Good tip. Thank you, Curtis. And so we have this fire on the wall that I don't know what it's for. Say hi. Well. Um... <laughs> Danny, I'd just like to point out the fact that you've uh, created a fantastic uh, start to your uh, superhero character and uh, shows a lot of the ingenuity on your part to create this, this character on your own and uh, get into such a fine point where you're showing Cairo Scuro, uh, wonderful elements of color and composition. Well oh. done, Danny. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> you know, if Mr. Ross Mr. Ross just talked to you guys, like my painting, then it's all well worth it. You know, I don't do this for money. I just, this random guy talks to me in the head, tells me to draw pictures of strong man, and I haven't seen strong man in years, but you know what? It's worth it. Danny's leaving our school next year, so we'll have more time to work on his artwork for you guys. Be happy. Now you may wonder who this character that I'm drawing with, uh, that I'm drawing is. Well, his name is... Swole boy, and you guessed it. That that's right. That is the son of strong man. That is directly above of him. And I had no idea strong man had a son. To be honest, I had no idea strong man could ever find love. Not because he's uh, not because you no, know, he he's not alpha enough. It's because I I don't think he has a need for love. But here we are. His son's right here. So you know I have to do him. His son has to get the same kind of muscles that strong man has. Though on a smaller scale, still very, very desirable to, uh, to both men and women alike. Men would love to get these muscles for themselves, and you know, women would love to get their hands on some of this muscle. I don't know what I'm saying, just, just enjoy the, the rest of this clip, I guess. Jeez, I'm creepy.
So we're closing in on the ending of this this piece is uh, artwork, uh, the, the, the process of painting this piece. As you can tell, I'm not, I'm pretty done. I may not be finished, but I am done. Because painting for such a long duration is just not my thing. But Straw Man is complete and he's a very, very majestic looking painting and I'm proud of myself for making him. I'm sure Straw Man will be proud of me too. Rest in peace. Swole boy, uh, send me a card or something. He's a prof he's a professional art grader, whatever you call them. So, That's um, true. Okay, you want to say a few words about this painting? <clears throat> I like the way you've come over the uh, faces with some fine print to make the uh, emphasis on the jaw lines and uh, to show the characters in their full potential. And um, you've got a bit of white shine at the bottom, which is a problem. Out of 10, 100%. Uh, nothing could be better about this. Everything is perfect. Danny is a master. Okay, thank you, Mr. Ross. Well, after uh, two weeks of massive hard work, um, if this thing will focus, I have completed the strongman painting and. Uh, uh, what a satisfying feeling. Maybe the voice in my head just wanted me to have a nice painting to hang on my wall. Because, um, it's time for this meme to die. It wasn't even a meme to begin with. So yeah, Strongman, um, you're gonna be on my wall, and, um, yeah. Have fun. See you in the next video. Peace out.